Welcome to the Guitar Center Hollywood. How's everyone, how are you guys doing out there today? So we're here today to commemorate the late, great Eddie Van Halen. We're here to celebrate the man, the artist, and the legacy of music and the catalog that he left behind that will undoubtedly inspire generations of musicians to come, yeah. without a doubt. Eddie was a good friend to the Guitar Center family. Um, some of you might remember, we, he was one of the first artists that we inducted into the Hollywood Rock Walk back in 1985. Yeah. Anybody here for that? All right, a couple of you guys told me you were, so all right, taking you back. And we, uh, he would frequent the store for years thereafter as well. So when Robert Vargas came to us and approached us about putting this beautiful mural onto the iconic Guitar Center Hollywood, we just knew we had to make that happen, right? We got to make that happen. That's right. So we did. And obviously you guys heard about it, so you're here to celebrate it too. And what better day than on the 66th birthday of Mr. Eddie Van Halen to celebrate and to unveil this beautiful mural that Robert's prepared for us. So thank you guys for coming out today. Be safe, take care of each other out there. I'm gonna introduce Stu from KLOS. He's gonna come out here and take it over for a minute. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Thanks for coming out, you guys. You like it? So, uh, <laughs> I know everybody here today is uh, thinking about two great Los Angeles heroes. One of them wore purple and gold. I see a lot of you guys in that. The other one wore red and white. And I have to say, uh, I just found out last week that this was going up. And uh, I was surprised that I somehow had not heard anything earlier. But when I heard who it was that was doing the mural, I was not one bit surprised. This might get slightly long in the tooth, so bear with me, because I want to say a couple things about this artist, man. Um, I could say a lot of things. There's a lot of things to say about Robert Vargas, his past accomplishments, the giant mural he's painting downtown that will go up into the Guinness Book of Records, and uh, about why Robert is one of the reasons that LA has become a legit center for art, but I want to tell a story that, for me, illustrates uh, who Robert uh, is. I was introduced to Robert uh, about a year ago now, we were in Memphis for a St. Jude Children's Hospital fundraiser, and there was hundreds and hundreds of people at this thing. It was a country music thing, actually. But, um, uh, uh, you know, rockers kind of have a way of finding each other. There's like this rock radar thing going on, I guess. And um, the first thing that struck me about Robert was uh, his incredible, incredible talent, which kind of goes without saying. He was doing these portraits at the time, oil on canvas, on the floor for some of the organizers of the St. Jude event, and they were beautiful, man. They were lifelike, and they were shockingly done fast, fast. So anyway, uh, a small group of us, like about four of us, went out on Beale Street to get dinner that night, and uh, as I got to know him better, I was struck by the this positive energy that just always comes off of Robert, you know? He's a very smart dude, lots of laughs, humble, but very, very confident at the same time, quick with compliments, and just a good-hearted dude. Uh, and also very observant. Uh, he sees the beauty in anything and everything all around and he reflects it back through his art and makes it bigger. So anyway, um, uh, we were looking for a place in Memphis that had uh, you know, Memphis food and Memphis music and we tried a couple of places that weren't quite right. And um, when we, <laughs> we came upon this one little kind of dumpy looking place that's on the corner of this and that. It was on Beale. And we knew we found the right place because they were serving food. We could see that in the window. And up on the marquee, it said, tonight, Blind Mississippi Morris. <laughs> and I'm like, if that's not a blues dude name, I mean, that's, that's it. That follows the formula and everything. And um, he, was, he was blind. He was old. He had a fedora and he sat in a chair. And when he sang, his full-throated guttural. Like, the whole place shook, and his, he was wailing on a harp, the band was laying it down, thick, badass slabs, and you could not help but be moved. And so Robert starts doing what I soon realized is what he always does. 
he starts painting Blind Mississippi Morris right there at our table. He's got no paints, he's got no canvas, but he's got a paper plate and the leftovers from what we've just been eating, which was like, you know, uh, he's got a knife for a paintbrush and a palette of ketchup and ranch dressing and rib sauce and baked beans. And all of us around that table start seeing what this thing is coming together. We didn't even know what he was doing at first. And we're blown away by his inventiveness and the accuracy of what he'd just done and the way he is compelled to capture the energy and the, the, the man's soul and performance that was going on right there. And this, this just made everything more special and radical that night. Or it might have just been the whiskey. Yeah. Anyway, Robert is one of the hardest working people in any profession you could know. He is an artist to his core, and he's a rocker to his core. And I know uh, we were all stunned and gutted on October 6th when the news got around that we lost Edward Van Halen. Um, that was and uh, still is a tough one. Which is why I'm so happy that this monument to Eddie is here, and I'm glad that you guys are all here to see it today. And I'm so glad that Robert is the one doing it, because he's the one who ought to be doing it. Uh, he is one of our own, and this work is imbued with all the care and the passion and the mastery of technique and uh, inventiveness and passion of the man himself. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a son of Los Angeles and the man responsible for both the idea of this mural and the work itself. Say hi to Robert Vargas. Come on, Robert. Take this off and see where I safe this is. Can you hear me? Cool. Yeah. What's up, Hollywood? Yeah. Well, I can't believe that this day is finally here. Every day is kind of melted into the next. I've been working on this project every day for the last two weeks. And uh, last night we were here till almost three in the morning and we were back here by nine in the morning um, to get it done. But that's what this particular project demanded. And I want to, uh, number one, thank Guitar Center for uh, believing in it. And of course, uh, it wasn't really a hard sell and they knew they wanted to do something and I knew something had to be done. And uh, thank you again, Ryan, uh, Shannon, of course, for seeing this through. Um, Maria, Sumitro, everybody on, on the team. That, uh, Scott, my boy Scott over there. Um, and of course, Eddie Van Halen, who inspired this mural and was... Yeah, Robert, get it, Bobby. Was a huge inspiration for me. For me, along the way, as a little kid, uh, who didn't want to be Eddie Van Halen when they were, when they were yeah. young. I mean, he just made it look so easy and had such a good time doing it. And, uh, you know, I heard this one joke of, I think someone had asked, what? why is Eddie Van Halen always, he always, he's always smiling when he's playing the guitar. And I'm like, that's because he's Eddie Van Halen. Like, you know, like, it's just like, look at this. And, um, I got to meet Eddie Van Halen, and I got to draw for him, and I knew he was going to be there at this event, and you know I just played it cool, and I was like, I'm going to draw. He'll he'll come around, and sure enough, once I started drawing, he perked up, and he was in it, and uh, I was drawing a mutual friend of ours, and it was so cool because he came over, and and uh, talked to the guy and said, you know, I know what he's doing. Keep your eyes on his eyes. It's a court thing. And then he just kind of like walked off. And it was so cool because here I'm drawing. I'm like, Eddie Van Halen is like feeling it. And then afterwards, we had a great conversation, talked about the creative process, what, uh, where it comes from, what it means. And um, just to be able to connect on that level from artist to artist, not just as a fan, but just as an artist, was uh, meant everything to me. And uh, he's influenced me so much along the way. And this mural, is is not just a memorial it's a it's not even just a tribute it's it's a celebration of his life of his legacy and also for uh, a nod to the band because not only did we lose eddie but we also lost van halen and van halen is my favorite band um my first concert was the monsters of rock 1988 at the coliseum my first record was van halen one they broke up on my birthday on april 1st <laughs> i was pissed but 30 years almost to the day, I saw them at, uh, at Jimmy Kimmel uh, on, this, on Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, I've seen them many, many times, but it was pretty cool to have that come full circle. 
and my inspiration for creating this piece was, of course, Eddie, but also all of you, all of the Van Halen fans who, just like me, grew up admiring him and, and, and loving the band. I see some musicians here, uh, good friends and, and amazing rock bands themselves, who, uh, who made their bones here on the Sunset Strip, just like Van Halen, and uh, he's had a huge Im impact on all of us. And I just want to uh, say number one, thank you, Eddie, for inspiring me. And uh, thank you guys for the support that you've given it. And I'll, I know some of you guys are watching online, um, going live right now from all over the world. I want to thank you guys for supporting it and tuning in every day when I was going live to see the progress. Uh, you guys powered me through. And again, I'm not just, I'm not some artist for hire that just came in to paint this mural, but I'm one of you. Uh, just paying homage to uh, to the king. So, with that being said, I want to do a uh, a three, two, one, and we'll all count it down and we'll unveil it. But before that, really quick, another another really cool component that uh, that I collaborated with a company called uh, the AR Firm, and there's an AR component to this mural where if you go to this uh, QR code. You go to this QR code right by the door there, um, on this box, this power box, and scan that, and then you look through your phone, very much the way you would uh, scanning a, a menu or something, and then stand at this spot right over here, that's the ideal spot where the uh, Eddie Van Halen logo is, and then point the, mur point the camera to the wall, the mural would animate. So AR is is uh, augmented reality and it's something, it's the first time I'm using it in one of my murals and I thought, you know, I'm gonna go big, go bigger with the, with this mural. So check that out, let me know what you think. Um, and again, I wanna thank some of the people here, George, Tammy, Doug, Gilby, Mark, Torian, and uh, everybody else that, uh, that's been here supporting it and influenced. By uh, by Van Halen. So here we go. Ready? Yeah. On three, three, two. And now I'm gonna go up and sign it, and in me signing it, that's my way of handing it over to the fans, to Guitar Center, and uh, where it will live for as long as uh, forever. Woo!